Okay, let's start in three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Um, Leonine Misbegotten is a bit of a bait, although he is center square, which is kind of nice. Limgrave Tree Sentinel plus zero, Dectus Medallion. Um, I mean, Falling Star Beast isn't super difficult. Agil with a plus zero weapon. Um, okay. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything else that's super fast. Unless there's Destined Death or uh, the Godskin Peeler there. Okay. So we... This is kind of the downside of, of this starting class, though, with this specific board. Rushing these squares is a little bit more difficult. Because we're so far off on stats. Okay, no longer need cracked pots. What the fuck am I doing, dude? Um... Okay. I'm starting right now. All right. Falling star beast practice about to pay off. Yeah, I mean, it's a corner square. Okay, 20 decks, which means I'm minus 12 on the decks. That's a 16 faith and 11 decks. Sorry, minus 11 on the decks. Um, so, I mean, that's... Using either of these weapons quickly is actually going to be kind of annoying. Which maybe makes going for Dectus Medallion. Dectus Medallion into Falling Star Beast. It maybe makes that make more sense. Checking for Grail without status effects as an option. Yeah, I'm, I'm just focusing on early game. My early game isn't very good. I've noticed that I tend to not do early game squares, and that makes majority boards harder for me. Okay, but we're... Yeah, I mean, we, we can only get six levels out, off of the starting graveyard. The Dragon Scale Blade is really nice. And I still don't... Even looking at this board where rushing two squares is actually kind of important. I'm still not convinced a different origin would have made sense just because of how good Dragon Scale Blade is. Okay, let's check to see if we get, like, a convenient, wieldable weapon right here. No. Leonine center square is huge. I, I really disagree. I really do. Center square is completely nullified if you get two 
opposing diagonal squares, particularly if they're in the same line. Like, if you do deck dish medallion or falling star beast or limb grave tree sentinel plus zero here in the time that they do leonine you're in a better position let's check the great sword and leonine sure isn't difficult to do but it takes a while well that's interesting Okay, well, I guess we gotta go make a, a deck display, dude. Gotta go make a deck display, cheese the knight's cav for some runes. That way I can actually use this dragon scale blade. Then summon me. Ah, I bequeath. You it will sound horrent. Treat him with. Where's uh where's an omen killer boss in Altus? Oh, it's the the Miranda Bloom fight, right? The one to the left of the staircase with Tree Sentinel duo. Not always possible to be a, a full-on efficiency player though. Because there's faster omen killers to get. Um, not really the case for, is it a Godskin Noble boss? Oh no, it's partic- it's that one exact Godskin Noble, okay. But yeah, o Omen Killer is the only consideration square there. If Omen Killer is a key square at, at any point during this game, um, playing for the alt this version is probably not the best idea. Well, Dectus is just a... Uh, I, I think I go for Dectus too much. But right here, uh, there's just nothing else to do. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. And if I lose the Dectus race, which if he's just full on racing to the Dectus, I probably will lose the Dectus race because he knows Celia skip and he's almost certainly taking a faster route. Um, I don't really care too much because I'm still getting development towards these other two squares because if he rushes Dectus that means that I develop towards what do you have bow bow and a medium shield uh nobles on this board so we do want to grab sleep pots um but I that means I develop towards Kaled get the runes and make this weapon wieldable so if if he gets Dectus square I go to Kalid first before picking up this the the Fort Height deck this half so that I I get the the cheese and then I can immediately pivot to Limgrave Tree Sentinel and Agil plus zero. Um no issue. And I'll, I'll probably have a lead on him for that. But if we're taking the exact same route... Okay. So he... That means he chose a different... Okay, interesting. That means he chose a different... Um, starting class. Or maybe check the beach merchant. Maybe the beach merchant had a... At a good plus zero weapon. Alright, so in that case, um I make I make the deck display. I'm assuming he's gonna go for the Agil play and I make the deck display. Although maybe that's not true. He he could be assuming that I was I have a lead on doing Agil plus zero. 
I don't I don't think he would be, but he could be assuming that, and then he could be making a, a Dectus rush through Celia Crystal Tunnel. Um And then that would be an issue because I would need to rush Leonine. <laughs> but I, I don't think he should be believing that. I think he should be believing Is there talismans on this board? I think he should be believing Let's check this guy. That he has a Gil plus zero as well. Alchian and Rotten Battle Hammer. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need this fire in case he does get the deck disc before me. Um, because that means I have to rush Leonine, and if I have to rush Leonine, that means I'm already kind of fucked. But <laughs> gotta gotta bring it back in then. Holy! Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is going to be a... I think this will definitely make it obvious of how just how valuable rushing these these early game squares on this board was going to be. I was hoping to see maybe an Agil plus zero marked already. Uh, he's he's getting me concerned that he's doing something else. Is there a mimic tier on this board? No, there was on the previous board. Oh, there's BBK. Maybe he's making a Falling Star Beast play? Maybe when he checked a Gil, uh, he checked Twin Blade location and got Healer. Also possible. See, okay, uh, 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 you guys are in ads right now, but here's the beautiful thing about bingo matches. Okay, I don't need this fire. I don't know why I'm getting this fire. You can watch both perspectives, and when one, one person gets ads, you watch the other one. Real, it's, it's real nice. Or... Uh, find a fucking ad blocker that works. I mean, no, don't do that. No. That, no, that's, uh, illegal. So, uh. <laughs> Is that high enough? Sick. Twitch is very aggressive with ads. It, if you live in the US, it is legitimately difficult to get an ad blocker that actually works on Twitch. And for that matter, probably any um, high CPM country. I just live in the U.S. I 
Okay, so a Geo plus zero definitely would have been done by now. I, I feel like he maybe just did standard setup and he was following the path that I just did. But obviously I had a, a lead on it. Okay, got to remember 20 decks. There is also Sword Seal here. Sword Seal definitely is not a bad talisman. Guys, I found this cool ad block. Just for five dollars, you can watch Bushy at free. <laughs> True hedgehog. Thanks for three months. Okay, uh, twenty vig and then or twenty. Don't oh, fuck off! 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 To determine if you had it seems torrent, whereas I may there is, but I can take gathering. Okay, 20. Rest goes here. If that sit down cost the Dactus medallion, that would be fucking tragic, dude. But I'm pretty sure he would have beat me to Dactus medallion if he just full on Celia Crystal Tunnel rushed it. Okay. So I, I'm getting the feel he's either stuck on a gill, which I think is unlikely. Um stuck on falling star beast, which is more likely. Or he was just doing standard deck to setup and I was a little bit ahead of him. Okay, so let's let's think here. I guess I'm going for a Gale plus zero then, huh? Falling Star Beast is also kind of nice, but I, I think it's a Gale plus zero. It's conveniently on the way as well. Then we check Twin Blade location, go to Celia Crystal Tunnel, make a, a Falling Star Beast play. Ow. Zero, by the way. <laughs> Oopsie. Come on. Show me, show me God Skin Peeler here, dude. That'd be nuts. Yeah, that, that frozen needle is fucking awful, CBD. Ooh. I got kind of excited when I saw purple. I actually don't even know if God's Skin Peeler is purple, is it? It's white, all right. Fucking rats, dude. Jesus. No, it's it's a uh, it's the rarity G King. Although I I don't know if there is any purple non somber weapons. I don't know. There might not be. But like it, it the rarity gets applied to everything. Like um, crafting materials even have rarity applied to them.
shit. Uh oh. Alright, I mean, we just gotta keep running it. Gotta do the skips in games to be able to do the skips in games. It's just how it goes. This also has... Is Somberstone? No, this, this board doesn't have Somberstones. Jesus. Oh my god. That fucking stomp, dude. Scares the shit out of me. I didn't know what he was doing there, dude. It's all good. We go again. We go again. No, nah, it's not unlucky. That's lack of practice. Whoopsie. Hello? Fuck off? Alright, dude. Just fuck. Okay, come on. Let's, let's reset this. Hurry up. Thank you. Okay, got it. Um... All right. So that's that was what he, he was stuck on. So I probably let's think. What do I what do I focus? What do I focus? What do I focus? What do I focus? Obviously not here, but I don't know what we focus. I bet we could have a have a pretty substantial lead on Altus here. We should also have that on. Cause he he just spent a lot of time killing Falling Star Beast. Which means he doesn't have Dactus Medallion yet. 
He probably doesn't have physic yet. Bro, get out of my way. Oh, Somberstone Bell Bearing is on this board. But something like row two is not a terrible idea. Um, lots of alt this stuff there. Row one is also not a terrible idea, but it involves killing a BBK, which I don't really want to do. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. <laughs> So I, I think we get explosive physic, we get EG. Ah, oh, have a bit of a rune issue here though. Uh, I, I guess we resolve the rune issue on the way up there. To get this to plus four. I guess column three also isn't a bad idea. Finger Slayer Blade and Godfrey are like relatively linear objectives. That Grail without status effect square is kind of fucking me here though. He pro row three, I don't have any advantage on. Row two, row one, I should have an advantage. Column three, I should also have an advantage. Um, but I think I like the look of row two the best. Although, to make a god free play, I need to kill remembrances anyway. So we could kill two birds with one stone here. Go slam through Godric. Um, that solves our rune issue and our remembrance issue all at once. Although it, uh, I mean, I, I probably only have like a minute or so lead on him here. He's a speedrunner. Should also brew up this physic, I guess. Column two. Really? You, you want me to get column two? I don't see an issue with that plan. A 
Wait, what the fuck? Did I not put that on? Bro, I swear to God I put that on. Well, fighting an early game god skin noble without being able to sleep them. Okay, dude, what the fuck? Why did I get hit? Stop fucking scamazing me here, dude. It, it, it's a pain in the ass no matter what because noble presence exists. I think I need this grace. No wet blades, no tree spirits. Get out my way, out my way, out my way, out my way, out my way. You fucking bitch. You fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> my God. So, granted, taking this approach is going to make Remembrance Weapon, kill Remembrance Boss with Remembrance Weapon much more difficult. But I, I think it's the play. It's, it's a different strategy that I haven't really used before. So I, I don't know how good of an idea it is, but I want to find out. I guess I light this fire just in case. Okay, so that's that's gonna give us our runes. We go make a play for EG first, explosive physics second. Trying to think what I kill with the explosive physic, though. 
I mean, maybe I just like secure it early. That gives him information though that I... I mean, maybe he thinks I'm going for column two. Which column two is a fucking awful idea because of 30 faith, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe that information makes him a little bit more concerned about column two. That could be a, a good bit of information to give him. You know what? I don't hate the idea. Yeah, I, I, it's it's difficult to manipulate your opponent into thinking what you want them to do when they're less experienced. Because from what I can tell, Tom is just full efficiency right now. He, he does not give a single shit about the position of the squares. <laughs> That's... So it, it's with, with someone who, who plays like that, it's much more difficult to like tactically give them a piece of information that's going to hopefully make them do what you would want them to. Like, I, I saw, when I was watching him play against CBD yesterday, I, I saw, like, strategically, I saw him go for blocks way, way, way too late. But it worked out because CBD wasn't super rushing those key blocks. And he's a fucking speedrunner. Tom's a speedrunner, so he kind of got away with it. I didn't even know Homer was jumping for me. Okay, we gotta wait for the items. Okay. No, 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 no. I am not a speedrunner. That is a miscategorization. Explosive physic with the omen killer. I don't really want to dedicate time is something other than row two though because like i said i'm i'm pretty confident with how he's behaved that i have an alt this lead on him and so i want to take advantage of that alt this lead and push this row two now unfortunately there's dts in the way which since he knows the the dts parry skip and i am not gonna get well Maybe he doesn't have a, a proper parry shield, and that's possible. Um, but that's definitely a spot where he can make up time for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to give this idea a try. I, I want to see if this is a valid idea because it's it's sacrificing efficiency in the name of positioning. Um, but if it works, you just win. <laughs> and granted, like, it, it, 
you, you can only really make this call, I think, if you have a very good idea of what your opponent's development looks like, and I think I do. Right at the beginning, when I was gathering Dectus, uh, and then went to go kill a Gil, Tom spent all his time doing Tree Sentinel and Falling Star Beast, which meant that I, I had a pretty good development advantage on him, and I should be able to, to get to these later sections, um, and threaten Bingo's much faster than he can. I mean, we could just kill something simple like Gillica. There's Altus bosses on this board. I don't, I don't hate the idea of doing Gillica. Garbage, thank you for the gift sub. Okay, hold on. Uh, Physic needs to get changed out to this. Oh, no, no, I don't want to level yet. Yeah, Ritual is a... Uh... Yeah, that, that's... The rationale, right? You get Ritual Sword, Talisman. You get an ult, this boss. You get the square. Jackville, thanks for the prime. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm playing for majority here. Now, granted, he hasn't done anything in a while, which uh, leaves a bit of an information gap. I don't really know what he's going for. Okay, make sure we don't kill her. Okay, and that doesn't really give him any all this information, which is perfect. If I gave him all this information, I'd be a little bit more concerned. No, I wouldn't really want to do that, but this doesn't this doesn't tell him that I'm in all this. I mean, granted, I did show him Dactus medallion. So like I I still don't think he would think that I would rush it like this though. All right, so do I go make a play? I guess I go make a play for the Gelmir Hero's Grave, right? Um, and then right once I'm done with the Gelmir Hero's Grave, I do Memory of Grace. Or I could do Memory of Grace first, but the thing is, if I show him Memory of Grace first, I don't think that's going to be a square that he's thinking about rushing. It doesn't open up... It, it's not like that diagonal's super valuable anymore since it's already blocked as a bingo option. Um, so I think I want to restrict information because if I, if I show Memory of Grace right now, he probably starts thinking, oh shit, I need to get to alt this. And if, it, if he thinks it that early, I bet he's going to be able to make a... Uh, a Lanciax or um, a gold free play in time. So I, I don't want to show him that quite yet. Although that is definitely his easiest block, but um, if I show it to him, like I said, he, he just, he knows what to do. He knows what I'm doing and he knows what to do to counter it at that point. No, Second Remembrance isn't dead yet. Um, and yeah, that, that's definitely an idea. What did he do? Oh, shit. That means he's an Altus. <laughs> I 
That's not what I expected at all. Okay. So he just beelined to ult this then, huh? Killed Falling Star Beast and ran to ult this. All right, well, that makes this row two look much, much less appealing. Um, but still, nonetheless, I could force him to time sink into Lanciax or Goldfree, which, yeah, that's worth. It's definitely worth. And then I start playing for majority. Um, go check Remembrance for a Radon idea, probably. Although, probably want to make a move for all this bosses first. But I, I, I want to take advantage of this positional play that I set up already. So, that's what we're going to do first. Is this going to get me to 50k? Because I, I actually don't really want to use that remembrance. Now, I'm, I'm fine with giving him this information now, since... Um, wait, hold on, I need to change the physic. It, he's not going to beat me to the, the hero's grave. Uh, and this could get him to start thinking about... Goldfree and, and Lanciax now. Uh, which is perfect. I mean, that, that's what I want him to be doing. Since he's shown that he's in Altis... I think I could have gotten further. Okay, so I believe I just like stroll off right here. Okay, not that far. Okay, good. Did I change the physic? I did, right? Son of a bit. I sat down to change the physic and then I didn't change the fucking physic, dude. <laughs> what the hell am I doing?
All right, Tree Sentinel Duo, Omen Killer. I, what I'm assuming is going to happen here is he's going to see row two and he's going to panic. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. Now, if he doesn't and he just fucking giga chat ignores row two. Well, that feels bad. <laughs> it also seems like a misplay, but it feels bad. Worm faces on. Oh yeah, yeah. Worm faces on this board. Um, sure. Let's do that first. Actually, I don't know. Omen killer actually kind of matters more here. Column three and row one. Omen killer's more key square. Um, this cave up on the left is the one with the omen killer, right? Harper, thank you for the tier one. Yeah, we got to change the physic 100%. Alright, and I think we level Vig here. Level Vig, change the physic. drop down I, I believe the right way is over here isn't there something like kind of important right here what is this is this a perfume bottle okay it's a perfume bottle all right it's this one doing homie got so much lunch I thought that was gonna go faster. All right, fuck it. I can get some poison. I don't care. Where's your slam? Okay, that that's a bit of a a waste of a square. The ten sacred flash charges. That takes a long while to do. Um. But he's just ignore. He must be on his way to land CX. Surely. Okay, how many Altus bosses is that? One, two, three. Um, he seems. So obviously he's going to have, he's kind of close to the tree sentinel duo over there. So he could be making a tree sentinel duo play, but he should be going for Lanciax.
He's, he's definitely getting me legitimately concerned that he's just not recognizing the bingo and I'm not getting value out of my positioning. He's going for a sneaky bingo. Ah, he does still have row three, doesn't he? That is relevant. But he's doing a bunch of alt this shit right now. And he kind of has to do a bunch of alt this shit. I mean, granted, if he slams out one of those row threes, uh, I have to immediately go respect it. But, I mean, he's just doing, he's just doing all this shit right now. Can see anything. That had more range than I thought it would. Jesus fucking Christ. Timing on this shit is so weird. Okay, homie, can we like do that lunge forward and roll on your face thing. I like that. If you wouldn't mind. Fucking awkward. Okay, dude. What? <laughs> oh, this is fucking terrible, dude. happening the fuck are you doing okay he's doing the big death splooge okay now he's rolling around on the fucking ground absolute animal
Uh, two more altis bosses. But he still hasn't done Lanciax, dude. So strange. can see anything. Come here. What the fuck are you doing? All right, what's a what's a nice and fucking simple boss to do, dude? I, I got no fucking idea. I mean, I... I guess it's fucking Lancey, actually. <laughs> he, he's apparently not... Oh, shit. Wrong, wrong spot. He's apparently not going for Lancey, so I guess it's fucking Lancey, dude. Ah, Jillica's already dead. That's not a, that gargoyle is not a boss. DTS? Maybe. But I mean, Lance, DTS opens up the ability to get a square. Lanciax is a square in itself. But I can do DTS faster. squares no, we don't we we don't quite have enough squares to just go for the fast quick and easy ones and it honestly at this point it may make sense he hasn't done anything in a while so i'm either successfully sniping him or he's i, I don't know dude my biggest lose condition here is a bingo right It feels very inefficient to commit to five Altus bosses and then go stop Leonine right now and lose that square. That feels really bad. But... Row three is my biggest chance for losing. Let me check Godric's uh, remembrance right quick. Oh, I haven't fucking gone to round table yet. Baronet, my hand.
And I've also telegraphed a bunch of Altus bosses. Surely he doesn't just ooga booga towards the Altus bosses when I've shown this many Altus bosses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we make a, a row three play. We have to. I don't hate that weapon. It's it's good for Grail without status effects. 34 strength, 20 faith. 34 strength, 20 faith. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Especially with weaving play. I've already effectively gone for row two. If he's not already fucking terrified of row two, let's... <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Like, it... it He should be. When I, when I got three on that row, he should have been fucking terrified and prioritizing it. No Lance Yikes? I don't think so. Because if he's just prepping... Like, if he's doing Radon Remembrance only right now... Into Leonine, into... Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior duo? I mean, my I, I don't have the prep there. I just don't have the prep there. So it, I, if he slams that out, um, I lose. And I absolutely should not be losing given where this card's at. Yes, if I killed Lance X, I would get two squares. You, you guys still seem to not be listening to me. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, here's the faith tier. No, that's the thing. He can bingo. He still has one bingo left on the board. And since I'm winning by so much, my biggest lose condition is him getting a bingo. Okay. And remember, remember chat, I say this all the time, but you got to remember it. If you're winning, you play to minimize lose conditions. If you're losing... You play to maximize win conditions. Okay. In other words, you play safe if you're winning. You play desperate if you're losing. Oh, that doesn't take me where I want it to go. I don't know if I need this grace, but fuck it, I'll get it. But yes, obviously, Chad, I do agree that it feels bad to do five altis bosses and then pivot off of it. it it doesn't feel right but it absolutely is the right choice the only other valid choice would be slamming out the row two bingo in um in an effort to race him to his row three bingo That, that seems like a worse idea. Uh, 
Well, yes, generally speaking, in any sort of competition, the less optimal choice is always more exciting. In American football, nobody gets excited when somebody catches the ball with two hands. It's only the fuckers that catch it with one hand. And you know what coaches say every fucking time they see someone do that? They say, what the fuck are you doing? Use both your hands, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so there is a... Like a sort of skip here. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. All right, he might be beating me. Ah, he might have Radon prepped and I don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I, he, he recognized he was desperate earlier. Then I recognized that he was desperate. Now what's, what's, we know he has all this access, so we know he has to do Radon first. Which I also have to do Radon first. However, with that in mind, he probably has a remembrance weapon. Probably. But I can make up some time by using the Ice Lightning Sword and getting to Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior duo faster. Because I, I don't need to win both of these squares. I just need to win one of them. Winning both of these squares is absolutely not necessary. Because I'm, I'm already very well set up for a, a majority win. I literally just need to stop the bingo. If I stop the bingo, I absolutely win here. So... Since we know that he has to do Radon first. Although he, like, the, there is a world that exists in which he already killed Radon and he's just going for Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior duo and he's going to use the Remembrance weapon. Maybe he hasn't killed Godric and he's already killed Radon and he's going to use Radon's Remembrance on Godric. I mean, that's a possibility. It seems... Ah, oh, fuck, what do I bet on? Controller? Okay, my controller disconnected. What the fuck is this? Hello? Okay. <laughs> uh, my game crashed. Could I get a pause? <laughs> sure. All right, thanks. I don't know how to pause my timer. Okay, that works. Oh, uh, are we playing with a two-hour time limit, or are we just playing for all the way? I, uh, whatever you, whatever you want to do. I usually like playing without the time limit, but it's up to you. Sure, that's fine. All right. Uh, I am loaded back in, so feel free to go on. All right, I'm starting the timer again. Yep. No, I'm not, because I just broke it. <laughs> uh, all right, it was an hour 15. Okay, sounds good. All right, so what do we bet on? <sighs> I 
I mean, what's my backup plan if I lose this Crucible Night Race? Renala? Moose, 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 moose. Okay. All right. We, we, we make the Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior duo play. Time's too tight, G King. Too tight. We are, we're, we're too desperate at getting one of these squares. Efficiency is actually throwing. God, and it fucking buffered a roll as well. That was fucking scary. Jesus. Level Vig, I think. As long as I have enough faith. Hold on, how much faith do I need? Shit, how much was it? Okay, we got plenty of faith. Alright, gotta go talk to Jaren. The fact that he hasn't done a Remembrance boss with Remembrance only makes me feel kind of nice. Sell him festering. Fine, I'm no longer. I have a task. Old Viz, may we meet again? Okay, is that good enough? I fucking hope that's good enough.
Jesus. All right. I believe we win. And he, he still didn't do... He, he didn't do anything else on that line, which is making me a little bit confused. Maybe I did properly snipe him. Although I feel like what I went for was less likely than what he was going to go for. But... Maybe I did snipe. It's possible. Fucking Christ, dude. What the hell is going on here? What a fucking dragon, dude. supposed to do like extra damage against dragons okay hold on this is not very impressive Ass hitbox. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Drink. Drink again. Eleven. All right. Uh. Oh, there's Grail. All right, hold on. There's Grail, which I can actually properly do. Oh wait, hold on. I need physic as well. fucking thing. That three minutes is definitely enough.
Not, not worried about it. Gotta wait for the rune acquisition. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't hate the idea of bell bearing hunters. No foot. It's not like I give a shit. We have more than enough levels in everything that we care about. No, we, we literally only need one square. I mean, I, I don't... I can't even think what the most strategically sound option would be here. Um, because, like, it, it kind of just doesn't matter. <laughs> We're up 12 to 5. Thirty faith is actually. Oh no 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 no! That's that's because it's physic buffed. I didn't level it to twenty two. Our faith level is like twelve or something. Thirty faith isn't happening. faith is nowhere close it, it it would take like 700,000 runes or something what do you got bloodhounds fang that's interesting all right might as well level because like why not i guess right um oh i gotta change the actual flasks hold on hold on hold on hold on Do some damage there, buddy. What did he do? Okay. Remembrance weapon only. Jesus fucking Christ. one
Uh, and I, we probably do the Altus one instead of running over to Liernia. Probably. Am I getting bell bearing square instead of bingo? Jesus. <laughs> I just look at the board and I think you'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sorry, that that's being a dickhead. I'm, I'm being a dickhead here. The answer is because that doesn't make any sense. And that's me not being a dickhead. Guys, what the fuck? Jesus. Okay. Getting literally any square wins. So the, the actual question that should be getting asked is if we're trying to be strategically sound, the actual question is which square is he least likely to be doing? The question is not which square gets bingo. The question is not which square is fastest. The actual strategically most sound choice is to decide which square he is least likely to be doing. However, being 100% strategically sound here is not necessary because we're so far ahead. So I asked myself which square is fastest. GG, Tom. GG, man. How close were you to getting that bingo? Well, you got, oh, you got 13. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, you got that two seconds before me. Okay. So, um, I, I, I couldn't figure out if you had already killed Radon and you needed to do Crucible Knight and Misbegotten Warrior Duo and then you're going to use Radon's Remembrance for Godric or if you needed to do Remembrance Weapon Only on Radon first and then the duo but it sounds like you already had Radon killed I had Radon killed, yeah okay I guessed wrong but I did I, I got lucky winning the race when it when it comes down to races it's honestly pretty it, it's a lot of luck. I died, I died a few times on him. I switched over to Leonin, and then I came back. Okay. And that, and I set up for uh, the Remembrance kill, and then I came back for Misbegotten Duo. Yeah, I, I but, was going for Leonin uh, first to block that. I, I recognized it was... I was like, oh, shit. I kind of only have one way that I lose this. I need to go, go get a row three square. Um, and I was on my way down to Leon and I was already in, uh, the, the weeping, the, the castle, castle mourn. I was already in there and mm -hmm. you, and you got it from me and I was like, uh-oh, you might have these yeah, other two squares I, more set up than I do. Yeah. I try to set that up and then, yeah, but you, you managed to get that misbegun to it right before me. And I was like, I killed him. It was in the process of saying the words and then you popped it up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, that, that's actually just unlucky. If I had made the other you guess. Also got, you also got Dectus two seconds before me. Hmm. Okay. 
I, did you take you, like, like the did you, did you just do deck this first and like go for the cheese on night cavalry yeah is that yeah, what you did that's pretty much exactly what i did because then you had levels and you could kill a geel fast is yep. that what happened mm -hmm. i because okay. with this starting class i was like ah oh, shit i can't really wield this weapon early so i guess i'm just gonna do like standard setup i went up to get the strengths here headed across saints bridge did the the teleporter route um rather than like the sell you crystal tunnel route which I, I was figuring since you did Limgrave Tree Sentinel plus zero, I was figuring you were working on a Geel plus zero at that point. Um, but it doesn't sound like it. I chose to do uh, Dectus. Yeah. And then I was, when I was like, okay, if I get Dectus, I'm going to, like, I'll go for a Geel after that. But then you got Dectus right before me. And then I was like, all right, I'll go for a Geel. But then you, like, killed a Geel in, like, 30 seconds. I don't know how you did that. The dragon scale um, blade I, <laughs> I had the 42k runes from the um from the knight's cav and i was able to use dragon scale blade and one stagger and a gil died yeah and then i just i started doing a lot of stuff in altus and then i i like lost track and i totally forgot like tree sentinel duo was a square and like worm face i i, I was setting up for worm face because worm face is a bit of a like a bit of a tough boss yeah worm face um, is a bit annoying for sure and i, I, I was and thinking you got altus hero's grave which one did you go for i went for the gelmir one it's the fastest yeah yeah i um, didn't even get I, I, to that one early you. game i was thinking you weren't gonna develop altus and so i, I was really surprised when you marked somberstone bell bearing one and two because my, my plan was to rush a bingo on row two, but uh, you mark Somberstone Bell Bearing 1 and 2, and I was like, oh, shit, okay. I guess I'm just going to use this to to make him kill Lanciax or Goldfree. And then you just, like, ignored those squares, and I was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> what, what did yeah, I do uh, all this I, threatening for? Yeah, those are tough squares to, to do in yeah, yeah. time commitment, right? So, like... I don't know. I, I thought my row was going to be quicker, but you managed to snipe it. You managed to uh, to block it. Mm -hmm. If um, I if I had just rushed the row to bingo, I, I think I probably would have beat you, but I, I was figuring that you recognized the threat and were probably working on a block. That's yeah, I was... I was... Uh, I totally lost my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> Like, maybe you were just thinking a bit desperate, like, oh, shit, I'm losing. Need to just go yeah, for something crazy. Little, uh, I mean, a little bit. You started putting up squares left and right. Um, and you... I was thinking maybe I should do the uh, the Memory of Grace with 50k runes with uh, the DTS runes. Mm -hmm. But I was like, no, I need to level up and actually develop my character. So you, you had an opportunity to block cheese. before I grabbed that square, huh? Yeah, I did. So and at that point, I only had the, the boss with explosive physics. I, I didn't think you would be seeing the row two as a threat at that point, since I only had one square on it. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I thought I was like, okay, well, I'm pretty sure I'm ahead of him in Altus, so I could get the, the hero's grave, but you got the hero's grave pretty quickly. I think it was right after I got the bell bearings. Yeah, I, I, I was really surprised that you were in Altus that quickly as well. Yeah, it was sneaky because you marked the Dectus and I basically got it at the same time as you. So yeah. I was like, okay, I'll yeah. just rush to Altus now. That, yeah, that makes sense.